This is an overview of the installation and configuration of Exchange Rate Feed for Dynamics GP by Envisage Software. Before installing Exchange Rate Feed, it's important to set the Exchange Rate Variance in Dynamics GP. From the Dynamics GP menu, select Tools, Setup, System, Exchange Table. For each Exchange Table ID that is set up, you need to have a rate variance value specified here. This value is a safeguard to ensure that large exchange rate variances do not accidentally get imported into Dynamics GP. And with that, let's start the installation. To install the exchange rate feed, download the zip file and double click on the MSI installer. Click on Next, specify the path where you'd like the exchange rate feed installed, click on Next, and then next once again to begin the installation. The setup will prompt you for additional information. First, you'll choose your source for your exchange rate feed. In this case, I'm going to choose uh, one of the Yahoo free services. However, there are several here that you can see, some of which are free, some of which are paid services. And if you click on the test button, it will perform a basic test to confirm that it can connect to the service and download an exchange rate. When you first install the trial version, you do not need to specify a license key. The exchange rate feed will automatically run in trial mode for up to 14 days. I'll specify the SQL Server host here. And for now, I'm just going to use the SA username and password for SQL Server. For the SMTP server, I'm going to use Gmail. And once all the setup options are complete, click on Save. Now the installation is complete. Click on Close to close the installation wizard. The exchange rate feed is now installed in C, Program Files x86, Envisage Software Solutions, exchange rate feed. You can right click on the exchange rate feed exe and send to desktop to create a new shortcut. And when you launch the exchange rate feed application, you'll want to use run as administrator. Here I will log in using the SA credentials or SQL Server credentials. And this is the exchange rate feed configuration window. To set up a new exchange rate, You'll specify your exchange table. I'll choose to update the Australian dollar average exchange table. And I'm going to be converting from US dollars to Australian dollars since US dollars is my functional currency. I'd like the updates to occur every day. And let's set that at 6 a.m. And then I click insert. I'm going to also update the Canadian dollar average, again from US dollars to Canadian dollars, and again every day at 6 a.m. And last, I will do British pounds from US dollars to British pounds, and again update it every day and 6 a.m. Now that this is configured, you can click on the Start Stop button to start the service, and you see the service is started. And if you ever want to have an immediate update of a rate, you can right-click on the grid and select Retrieve and Apply Rate, and you can also right-click on an entry and choose View Existing Rates. Here you see the rates from the Australian Dollar Average Rate Table from Dynamics GP, and you can see that the last three days the rate has been imported, and here are the rates. Now that the exchange rate service has started, it will automatically update the exchange rate based on the schedules specified here. If you'd like to change any of these schedules, you can simply double click on a record, make a change to any of the fields, and click on update. If you need to change any of the setup configuration, you can choose File and Setup to make changes here. And if you'd like to view any of the events in the event log in case there were any errors or you had any problems with updates, you can view the event log directly here or in the Windows Event Viewer.
And that concludes the brief overview of the exchange rate feed for Dynamics GP. If you have any questions or are interested in a trial version, please contact us at envisagesoftware.com.